Hello, and welcome to Thoughts on the Way Home, where I will be giving my thoughts on the way home from Rock the Casbah, Bill Murray's new movie. Uh, if you want the short and sweet version of this review, don't see it. Uh, it's boring, it's kind of a mess, and the characters have basically no development whatsoever. Rock the Casbah, again, stars Bill Murray as a guy who is a music manager. Uh, he's washed up and he allegedly has worked with all the greats. Uh, he claims Stevie Nicks. He, one thing he claims throughout the whole thing is he, he discovered Madonna. Long story short, he ends up in Afghanistan because some stranger in a bar told him that he organizes tours that go through the Middle East and that he should take this woman who he's kind of a manager for uh, to the Middle East with him. And so Bill Murray does, and she doesn't want to do it, and eventually she leaves um, with the help of Bruce Willis's character, who we'll get to. Um, she eventually leaves uh, and steals his money, his passport, and everything. So he's stuck in Afghanistan for a little while. While in Afghanistan, he meets uh, Danny McBride and some other guy who play a pair of arms dealers who talk him into taking a delivery to a small village out in the middle of nowhere. And this is about the hour mark in an hour and 40 minute movie, by the way. Uh, who convince him to take a package of ammunition to a village in the middle of Afghanistan, somewhere near Kabul. And so he does, and he goes and he delivers the ammunition. He f discovers this girl who can sing fantastically and he decides it is his destiny to take this girl to uh, Afghan Star, which is like Afghanistan, America, uh, Afghanistan Idol. He tries to convince her father to let him take her to the show and the father's having none of it. It's a very conservative, traditional, you know, women don't sing, women can't sing on TV. Bill Murray gives up. He's like, all right, I guess not. Him and his cab driver buddy go back to Kabul and find out she is stowed away, so they take her to the show and convince them to let her go on, and she performs, and blah, blah, blah. Again, last 40 minutes of an hour and 40 minute movie is this part. There's a lot going on in this movie, and none of it means anything. This movie, though, it just, it doesn't add up to anything. You don't feel like she, she wants to do it, but then her father takes her back to the village, and, I, and she's like, oh, I guess I'm done. I guess I'm not doing this anymore. So Bill Murray has to go and get her and bring her back. And then their village is attacked by uh, a warlord. And it's just, it's, and this movie is such a mess. And it's so boring. The characters, there's no development in characters. And character motivation means nothing. Uh, again, Bruce Willis is in this film. He plays a military contractor who first helps Bill Murray's original act get out of the country. I thought he was going to be the antagonist of the film because his original act stole his money and Bill, Bruce Willis charges two grand apparently to get people out of the country. She paid him half and told him that Bill Murray would pay the other half and so he shows up at Bill Murray's place, threatens Bill Murray, says you have 24 hours to get me my money. The next scene, uh, Danny McBride and his buddy, this is when they talk Bill Murray into doing this gun, this arms shipment and they give him a ton of money just boom there you go problem fixed here's twenty thousand dollars american and the next scene bruce willis and a, a cadre of other contractors are his protection on this trade and now bill murray and bruce willis are kind of buddy buddy not not a ton but they're they're getting along now even despite the fact that two scenes earlier bruce willis threatened to kill bill murray this movie it just it's not good Nobody seems to be having fun. Like, it's it's Bill Murray. Bill Murray can be funny, and I don't know if this was supposed to be a comedy, if this was supposed to be a drama, what was the hell genre this was supposed to be, but it failed in every aspect that it tried to be. The one positive thing I can say about this movie was the shots of the desert at night. I liked That's it. That's the only positive thing I could say about this movie. Uh, geez, don't, don't see it in theaters, definitely. Do not spend money on a ticket. Don't even rent it. You know, if, if you're flipping channels, there's nothing else on, and 
you're just like, well, I remember this movie from a few years ago. You know, I guess if if that's when you want to watch it, that makes more sense. It's not worth the time. It wasn't. It was unfortunately not not a uh, not the best of experiences. Those have been my thoughts on the way home from Rock the Casbah.